review, 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class What's new for 2015 for 2015? The Mercedes-Benz E-Class lineup sees a new E400 style with a turbocharged V6 engine. Other changes are less notable, consisting of minor equipment shuffling. Introduction Say what you want about the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, but undeniable is that Mercedes has made an extraordinary effort to build an E-Class suitable for your tastes. Really, whether you want your mid-sized luxury car to be a fuel-sipping diesel sedan, a turbo V6 powered convertible or a road burning 577 horsepower wagon, fears bound to be an E-Class much to your liking. That diesel class earns an EPA estimated 33 miles per gallon combined that's compact economy car territory while still being able to sprint to 60 miles per hour in a fairly swift 7.6 seconds. But if outgunning sports cars up the on-ramps is more your thing, you may consider the E63 AMG S model, which can rip to that same speed in under 4 seconds. And sitting in between those two extremes are no fewer than three additional engine choices. Since its debut for 2010, this generation of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class has been one of our favorites, thanks to its trifecta of refinement, performance and cutting-edge technology. Last year's number of improvements only made it more so, earning the E-Class sedan a pair of ratings but the nearly prohibitive cost of the E63 AMG S wagon and its sometimes shush ride drew a B rating despite being what some consider the ultimate wagon. Not one to rest on its hood badge laurels, the E-Class comes into 2015 with a new engine option. The new E400 sports a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 with 329 horsepower in a sedan family, it replaces the E550 and its V8 for most E-Class variants that should provide performance not far from the V8S along with superior fuel economy. Throw in a slew of the newest safety technologies borrowed from the latest S-Class including an available advanced lane-keeping system, and you've got one of Mercedes' best all-around automobiles yet. Of course, there are plenty of great cars in the mid-sized luxury segment, most notably the 2015 Audi A6, 2015 BMW 5 Series and 2015 Lexus GS. All of these, including the Mercedes, earn spots in our 2015 sedan buying guide, though none of them can match the sheer variety of body styles and engines in the E-Class lineup. If you're looking for the best all-around mid-sized luxury sedan or wagon, coupe or convertible, the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is an excellent place to start your search. Body styles, trim levels, and options the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is available as a mid-size sedan, coupe, convertible cabriolet or wagon. Each body style offers various trim levels that correspond to the engine, diesel E250 Blue Attack sedan only, V6 E350 sedan and wagon, gas electric E400 hybrid sedan only, turbocharged V6 E400 all but wagon, V, A, T, 550 coupe and convertible and turbocharged V, 8 powered E63 AMG sedan and wagon only. The E250, E350 and E400 four doors are split into two basic types, luxury and sport. Luxury models come with 17-inch alloy wheels and a traditional grille with a separate hood ornament while sport models switch to 18-inch wheels, a turbo grille with an integrated three-pointed star and a sport-tuned suspension. Inside, the sport boasts subtle white effaced gauges and a three-spoke steering wheel in place of the luxury's four-spoke design. Both luxury and sport come standard with LED headlights, LED taillight accents, adaptive suspension dampers, a sunroof. Do also an automatic climate control, a center-mounted analog clock, 
14-way power front seats with memory functions, MB Tech simulated leather upholstery, a power tilt handless coping steering wheel, auto dimming mirrors, the command electronics interface, Bluetooth and an 8-speaker sound system with a 6th changer and an Ipodus audio interface. The 350 wagon also includes a power liftgate, a rear view camera and a rear facing third row seat. The 400 hybrid is essentially a sport model by default though its wheels are 17 inches with a hybrid powertrain. In addition to the E350 sport features, the E400 sport further includes different wheels, keyless ignition and entry, leather seating and both the premium one and lane tracking packages detailed below. The E400 coupe and convertible come standard with most of the E350 sport sedan's accoutrements, including 18-inch alloys, and they add heated leather sport seats to the mix. The E550 coupes and convertibles also have an adaptive suspension to go with their standard 18-inch AMG wheels. All convertibles receive a power-folding soft top a rear center pass-through and a pop-up air deflector. A wide array of packages is optional for the A-Class. The Premium 1 package adds a rear-view camera standard on the wagon, power-folding mirrors, split-folding rear seats sedan, command with navigation, satellite radio, a 14-speaker Harman Kardon surround sound audio system and a power rear window sunshade except on the convertible which gets the air scarf neck warming system instead, as well as active ventilated front seats for the E550 sedan and heated front seats for the other sedans. The lighting package features adaptive LED headlights and automatic high beam headlight control, while the parking assist package adds a surround view camera system with front and rear parking sensors along with an automated parallel parking system. The keyless go package tacks on keyless entry and ignition, a power trunk lid sedan only, wagon has a standard power lift gate and, for the sedan and wagon, a hands-free feature that either opens or closes the trunk or lift gate when you wave your foot under the rear bumper. On the safety front, the available lane tracking package alerts you if you're drifting out of your lane and also includes blind spot warning. The driver assistance package includes adaptive cruise control, active lane tracking blind spot rear cross traffic assist and collision warning mitigation with automatic braking. Note that the coupe and convertible are additionally eligible for the sport in red line packages. The sport package includes 18-inch AMG wheels, painted front brake calipers standard on E550. A flat bottom steering wheel also standard on E550 and upgraded multi-contour front seats. The red line package kicks it up another notch with black AMG wheels choice of 18 or 19 inch, an AMG body kit, gloss black body accents including front and rear spoilers, upgraded brakes and suspension, AMG sport multi-contour seats and the flat bottom steering wheel. The Speed Freaky 63 AMG sedan and wagon boast numerous AMG developed components engine, transmission, adjustable suspension, steering, brakes, exhaust, exterior and interior trim, 19 inch wheels and sport seats with adjustable bolsters and driver massage functions. They also come standard with the contents of the premium one, lighting, Keyless go and parking assist packages except for the surround view camera, which costs extra, along with heated rear seats optional on wagon and leather upholstery. The AMG Smiddle package optional on sedan, standard on wagon features an even more powerful engine, a limit slip rear differential, different 19-inch wheels and red brake calipers. An E63 can be outfitted with carbon ceramic brakes. Other notable options, depending on trim and body style, include illuminated door sills, a panoramic sunroof standard on the E63 AMG's middle wagon, a premium Bang & Olufsen audio system, 
a 120 volt household style power outlet and twin iPad docks behind the front headrests. Power chains and performance most trim levels of the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class lineup are available with either rear or all-wheel drive formatic. However, the E550 Coupe convertible and the E400 hybrid are rear-wheel drive only, while both the wagons and the AMG trims are formatic only. Note that the AMG version of Formatic sends more power to the rear wheels 67% versus the usual 55% to facilitate performance driving. Every class, except for the E63, employs a 7-speed automatic transmission. The E63S automatic has 7 speeds as well but it uses a multiplate clutch pack instead of a torque converter for enhanced response and control. Both transmissions come with shift paddles on the steering wheel, and all cars have an automatic stop-start function that turns off the engine when the car stops to save fuel. Under the hood, the E250 Bluetech relies on a turbocharged 2.1-litre diesel-fueled four-cylinder engine rated at 195 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The E350 has a 3.5-litre V6 that generates 302 horsepower and 273 lbft. The E400 hybrid is that V6 supplemented with a lithium-ion battery pack and an electric motor. The E400 hybrid, by the way, can travel up to half a mile, and reach speeds up to 22 miles per hour, on electric power alone. The E400 packs a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 that produces 329 horsepower and 354 lbft of torque. The E63 AMG's turbocharged 5.5-litre V8 cranks at 550 horsepower and 531 lbft or 577 horsepower and 590 lbft with a Smiddell package. In terms of acceleration to 60 mph, Testing demonstrated that the E-Class runs the gamut from the E250's respectable 7.6 second effort to the E63's sedan's scorching 3.7 second sprint 4.0 for the E63's wagon, with the E350 sedan nearly splitting the difference at 6.0 seconds in our wheel drive form expect rear wheel drive variants to be a few tenths quicker. The E550 versions are seriously fast, as they are able to rip off 5 second 060 bursts, while we'd estimate the E400 with the new Turbo V6 to be a mid 5 second performer in this respect. As one would expect from such a varied group of powertrains, EP estimated fuel economy runs the gamut, and the E250 Blue Attack predictably leads the way. With an EP estimated 33 miles per gallon combined 28 City 42 highway, we managed to achieve an astounding 43 miles per gallon on our 120 mile evaluation route, which favours diesel friendly highway miles. Opting for an all-wheel drive E250 formatic still impresses with 31 miles per gallon combined 2,738. The 350 sedan drops to 23 miles per gallon combined 2,029 with a 1 mile per gallon highway mileage drop on a formatic, and yet. The turbocharged E400 matches those with an estimated 23 miles per gallon combined 2029, also with a 1 mile per gallon loss on the highway. The E400 hybrid is respectable at 26 miles per gallon combined 2430, while the E550 Coupe rates 21 miles per gallon combined 1826 with the E550 convertible coming in at 20 miles per gallon combined 1726. The AMG sedan earns a 19 miles per gallon combined figure 1623, 
with a wagon rating 18 miles per gallon combined, 1,521. Safety The class comes standard with anti-lock disc brakes, stability control, a driver drowsiness monitor, front and front side airbags, front pelvic airbags, side curtain airbags and a driver knee airbag. Also included is the embraced telematic system, offering smartphone integration and web-based apps that include remote controls, driver monitoring and emergency services. The convertible additionally features automatically deploying rollover hoops. Rear airbags are a standalone option. Other options include front and rear collision mitigation systems and the driver assistance package, which includes collision mitigation as well as adaptive cruise control and a steering assist feature that uses a stereoscopic camera to help keep you in your lane. All models are available with both a surround view camera and an automated parking system. In brake testing, an E250 with all season tires came to a stop from 60 miles per hour in 122 feet, an average performance. An E350, also on all seasons, did a similar 121 feet. When tested with summer performance tires, the 350 sedan stopped in just 110 feet, while an E354 Matic wagon with summer tires stopped in 109 feet pretty impressive for a weighty family hauler. As one would expect, the E63 sedan's 105 foot stop is the shortest of the bunch 107 feet for the E63 wagon, and that was without the optional carbon ceramic brakes. In government crash testing, the 2015 class earned an overall rating of 4 of 5 possible stars, with 5 stars for side impact and rollover potential, but 4 stars for frontal crash. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety has awarded the 2015 class sedan its best possible rating of good in every category it has, small and moderate overlap front crash side impact and roof strength, plus its head restraints and seats. Further, the ex awarded the E-Class sedan a rear superior grade for front crash prevention when equipped with optional pre-safe and driver assistance packages. The E-Class coupe was similarly awarded with the best possible rating of good for moderate overlap front crash, side impact and roof strength, plus its head restraints and seats. Interior design and special features The cabin of the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is at once handsome and functional. A three-tube gauge cluster adds visual interest, and all but the AMG versions of a steering column mounted gear selector. A Mercedes brand analog clock adds a touch of class, while three available wood veneers range from warm to austere a nice no-cost opportunity to personalize your Benz. All versions come with a Kumand Electronics interface, which combines a large display screen, a control knob and dash-mounted buttons. As with every knob-based infotainment system, fears a learning curve, but we generally prefer Kumand to rival systems due to its relatively simple menu structure. Its voice command functionality is also first rate. Each class is relatively comfortable and spacious by segment standards. The seats are firm, but offer impressive comfort and support for the long haul especially the optional multi contour driver seat. The two-door and AMG models feature snug front sport seats that capably hold you in place during aggressive driving. The back seat in Ford's or models is pleasantly spacious matching the BMW 5 Series for most hospitable in the mid-sized luxury class. Two-door A-class models lose a lot of rear passenger space, but you can still squeeze two adults back there without too much hassle. The sedan's trunk measures a slightly above average 15.9 cubic feet, while the wagon offers up to 57.4 cubic feet of maximum cargo volume in addition to its trademark rear-fussing and strictly for kids third row seat that gives it serving passenger capacity in a pinch. The coupe drops to a still commendable 13.3 cubic feet of trunk space, 
while the convertible brings up the rear at 11.5 cubic feet 8.8 .8 with the top down. Notably, unlike most hybrid sedans, the E400 hybrid sedan has the same trunk capacity as its non-hybrid counterpart, as its lithiumian battery pack is housed in the engine bay rather than in a space eating trunk location. Driving impressions The 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class stakes out a sublime middle ground between comfort and sport. There are both cushier cars and more athletic cars in the mid-sized luxury segment, but none marries these traits as harmoniously as a Benz. Regardless of body style or engine, the E-Class also provides that unique sense of solidity that has long set Mercedes vehicles apart. It's a special car to drive. If there's a downside here, it involves the growing collection of electronic driver aids, which certainly mean well but have the potential to interfere with driving enjoyment. Fortunately, some can be turned off if you find them overly intrusive. You'll be hard pressed to distinguish the E250 Blue Attack from its six cylinder E350 Blue Attack predecessor as the diesel four-cylinder engine pulls with vigor from very low RPM. While idling at a standstill, however, you might notice some vibration through the pedals, but the auto stop-start system essentially makes that a non-issue. That system, on the other hand, is very smooth, with nary a shudder to be felt when it automatically restarts the engine. Underway, the diesel's soundtrack won't stir the soul but neither is it loud nor immediately identifiable as a diesel. For environmentally minded class spires, the E250 is a good way to go. As for the E63 AMG, it's simply an amazing thrill ride wrapped up in a practical package. With acceleration essentially on par with that of exotic sports cars, this roomy sedan or wagon has to be driven to be believed. Running up an on-ramp with your foot in it takes on the feel of a jet leaving an airstrip, while the AMG's adept handling on a curvy road will make you think you're driving something toth herds its size and weight.